Where exactly is this jail you say you escaped from, anyway? I've never heard of such a place. There's certainly naught like that here in Vermont. Could it be you were held in the neighboring country of Batal? Nay. Where are you going? I'll not force you to receive treatment, but I'd at least like a word. Fine! Goblins! Let's take up your weapons, sir! If you find your strength flagging, then buy the curative or have a bit of green. When one of the fiends comes to you, best guard or dodge, else you'll be sore on the morrow. Make use of the slope. It will give you an advantage against their ranks. Employ guarded attacks to get the enemy to flinch. Random attacks are more destructive, but will leave you vulnerable. So seize your chance to land one the moment the enemy flinches. There are oft items to be scavenged from the bodies of monsters and their ilk. If you're not squeamish about picking at their bones, that is. Have you beheld the dragon as yet? I've not, and I count that a blessing. All I know for sure is that tis a beast e'er more fearsome than a griffin. One need only look to the miserable state of the village of Mel to see that. Not. We can but hope that the sovereign will rid us of the airline. its ugly head. The sovereign appears among the people who steps forth to challenge us. Yes, yeah, say Vermin owes much of its prosperity to the sovereign to preserve its own I can scarce imagine aught more tragic than finding freedom, only to be immediately engulfed by the brine. Welcome, Arisen. We pawns have long awaited your arrival. What is this? Pawns? They bend the knee to you so readily, but then... No. Surely you cannot be the Arisen. You seek the Riftstone, do you not? We can take you to it. Pray. Come this way. Before you stands a rift stone. Tis a gate by which we of the Pawn Legion may cross o'er into this world. Pray, summon your pawn. Simply paint with your mind's eye the loyal attendant whom you would have serve you.
Horns are known as crosses of the rift, for we are able to connect to and traverse other realms beyond this one. When we return, it is our duty to use our experiences and the knowledge we have gained to aid you on your journey, Arisen. From this day forth, I shall serve you as your loyal pawn, and aught I learn beyond the rift will be at your disposal. Well, I'll be. A pawn summoning before my very eyes. You truly are the Arisen, then. Strange. I thought the Arisen was in the capital. Surely there's only meant to be one Arisen. Fine. This is all beyond my ken. The Watchhead would know what to do, I'm sure. Though, as luck would have it, he's away. I suppose we'll save any further questions till the Watchhead returns. You're free to do as you like afore then. What? You've no memories, you say? Mayhap you could make for Melv, then. It was set upon by the dragon not long ago. The Arisen is said to bear some deep connection to the dragon. Should you be Arisen, mayhap you'll recall aught of import there. Hail, Arisen. Pray, ask aught you wish to know. I shall answer, if tis within my power to do so. Very well. May fortune speed you on your way, Arisen. Might you be looking to enlist? Boy there, you seem well tired. Tell you what, you can stay here tonight free of charge. I'll expect coin from tomorrow, my... My pa always used to say, there's naught a good night's sleep can't fly. Being armed is better than being defenseless, even if you should stop by the inn in Melv if you get the chance. No hard feelings if you prefer.
Right. They've much more. We must rest, though the sun is still up. A splendid accomplishment. You have honed your talents to new heights. One can but strive to improve. I've beds to spare if you're looking for lodgings. And if you'd like to change your vocation, come see me anytime. Always a pleasure. I enjoy tackling fierce foes and prefer combat's thrills to gathering items. I am confident and may act independently. Ah, oh, good. I see the Arisen's found someone to handle our busy work. <laughs> <laughs> 